Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Haya Toys Godzilla vs. Kong Exquisite Basic Monster vs. Godzilla. This is the updated version, by the way. Very similar to the original release, by the way, just it is updated. I don't know, I don't remember the packaging from the other one, I don't have it anymore, so I can't do a direct comparison. I'm sorry, I'll have the review up in the corner. By the way, when I put the reviews up in the corner, they're there. It depends on what platform you're watching the video. If some of them don't have them, like on the YouTube app, on Android at least, I don't know about iPhone, I, you can't click them, they're not there. But I think they're in the description when that happens. I don't know how it works, it's different for every platform. Okay, so I can't compare them directly, but you can watch that video. But this is the updated version. I don't know if the packaging is different. So if you're trying to track them down on the secondhand market, I don't know how you'll do that. So good luck with that. But otherwise this, as of right now, it's a pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. So if you're trying to get this one after this review, at least that's one surefire way to get it. You want this updated version. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. Alrighty, we will take a quick look at the packaging just because Godzilla on the front and at the top it says Godzilla vs Kong and shows them at the top too. It's a tall package. I don't want to move the camera. Uh, you can see. All right, there you go. It's not bad packaging. Let me let's do a quick question of the day for the Godzilla vs Kong thing with the orange and blue color scheme that not Haya Toys but everybody used for this. You guys like it? To me, the bright orange and bright blue never matched Godzilla or Kong and it always looked weird to me. Let me know what you guys think. It's it's very strange. I think it's very strange. Maybe you don't and and I'm wrong. But yeah, you get your standard blue and orange marketing material for the movie. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Let's do another question of the day real quick. If a company releases an updated version like this where it is quite literally an updated version, not just a new release that's all new, uh, are you gonna get it if you like it? Or are you gonna say, well, I like the first one enough. I already have that. I'm not gonna buy another. Basically, my question is, is it worth it for them to do an updated version? Are, are there enough of you out there who will open up your wallets for a slightly new version of something you already own? Okay, that's the question. This guy stands, let's just do this in this pose. I'm gonna stay, hold him up, because right now I don't have him balanced at all, but in that pose, he's about six and three quarter inches, I would say. Don't worry if it doesn't look like it on camera, that's just the angle. He's about six and three quarter inches, averaging to about like right here. All right, and that's gonna make him roughly, we'll call it 17.75 centimeters, and there he is up against everyone's favorite bald guy. Okay, so, I like I said, I don't have the other one anymore. You guys know the things that I get that I don't keep in my collection, I sell off usually, and so I have sold that off. But, uh, I have done the review, so if you wanna check it up there. Okay, so, it doesn't say, they didn't give me any information about this figure at all. What I got about this guy was what was listed at the Big Bad Toy Store listing, the sale page, and that is that it's just the articulation from the neck through the jaw. That's all it says. It doesn't mention anything about the sculpt or paint being different, but it does seem to me that it's a slightly different color scheme. And I don't remember the sculpt being exactly the way it is here or on the chest, but that might just be me. I might just be wrong about that. But it looks to me like it's an updated paint job too. So I don't know. I don't know, like I said, they didn't give me any information. They said, do you wanna review it? I said, sure, <laughs> I'll review it. <laughs> I don't know, why not? And that's what happened. All right, so yeah, you get a lot of dry brushing. It looks like maybe a lot of wash and then some dry brush. I think I say that every time. <laughs> but yeah, you get that. Looks nice. I think this one looks cleaner than the other one. Let's look at the head up close. The head looks pretty good. Like this design for Godzilla, it doesn't exactly accentuate his eyes. So they're kind of hard to spot, but they're also in there. They are painted well for a figure that's this tiny. Yeah, the eyes have some color in there, that's nice. I like it. It's a little bit easier to see in person than it is on camera. They're tiny, but it's darker on camera, so. They look good though. All right, and then for the mouth, the teeth do look like they're the exact same thing as the flesh around the teeth. I don't know how accurate that is to the source material. I thought they were, there should be some distinction in color. There isn't any. That might be a problem, I don't know. But the mouth is done well. The, uh, whatever these parts are on the sides, the pink parts, those are good. The bottom part is colored. The top part is colored and the tongue is articulated and colored. So yeah, the head looks really nice. 
I like that. Um, we're not going to go through the whole thing. He doesn't have any accessories, and the aesthetic is all textured lizard skin type thing. So you can see what you can see there. And it is just the updated version. So I do want to show you the articulation for the neck, though, since that's supposed to be the new thing. And I guess we could run the whole articulation, but there we go. Okay, so I don't know. They said it's better. These pieces are different as far as I can tell, and it's supposed to work better. I don't know. We're going to find out. So I think maybe it's just less gappy. Maybe these take up more space. So it looks more fluid. I think maybe that's what it is. Like I said, they didn't tell me. They are soft material, much softer than before. So let's zoom in a little bit. It looks pretty good though. I have to note these, is it four pieces or three pieces? Four, three. These three pieces right here are slightly different color. It looks worse on camera than it does in person, but from here back and from here up, darker material and then these are slightly lighter. So that might just be mine. It might be all of them. I don't know. The sculpt is nicer. It definitely moves a little bit more fluidly, but still not getting a ton of range. Like that's the most I can get him to look to the side. I'm really cranking on it. And that's as far as he's looking. So he's not, he's not exactly setting any records with flexibility. As far as looking down, Oh, I'm putting my man strength into it and it's separating the pieces can't go any farther than that functionally All right, so he's not really looking down too much either These do look nicer though. I have to say there's not a lot of gapping at all. So that's good. And then looking up I don't think you can put him in that swimming pose still or where he's like looking straight up where this is like it Should be all one line right here And you can't do it He's still curved some here, but again, the gapping is significantly reduced. So that's a good thing. So maybe that's the update, I guess. I, I'm not sure. And then they did mention the jaw also. Now I had to squeeze mine in. This part didn't, wasn't in all the way. And maybe the other one is the one that had the hole in it, like the pin. I don't remember, but you guys can see this one either way. I think the jaw work looks pretty good. It is a soft, softer material, so I guess you could just pop it out. But it looks pretty good. I have no complaints about the jaw. Looks fine. Can we focus on the jaw, please, camera? Here we go. Yeah, so... I, I don't know if these updates are enough to warrant another purchase, to be completely honest. I mean, that's what I always am. Doesn't matter if I get... A million review samples or none, I will give you complete honesty in my reviews. It's nicely done. If this was the first version, I would definitely say, hey, it's nice. I don't like that the neck is a different color, slightly, ever so slightly, than the rest of the body. More noticeable on this side than this side. But it does, this is a nice neck, other than it's still somewhat limited. Arms are still quite limited. Not bad looking, but quite limited. Same thing down here, we have swivel hinges. So single jointed elbow, not to 90. And then you get your rotation. Uh, wrists are on ball pegs, torso. Big ball peg, fins get in the way for sure. But you get a little bit of extra play out of that. Hips, big old ball pegs. He is quite tail heavy though, so it is gonna be somewhat tricky to balance this guy. Knees are very limited also. It's, it's a very limited, it is a basic figure as they said. Um, so yeah, it's like a competitor. I, I mentioned last time how these guys are competing with SH Figure Arts and somebody's like, no, there's also NECA. It's like, yeah, when's the last time NECA released a Godzilla? Like, okay. <laughs> it's not competing with something that doesn't exist anymore. SH Monster Arts is still a thing. Uh, these are a lot bigger, less expensive usually than the Monster Arts. That's true. That's another thing I got corrected on, which isn't accurate. They are usually more expensive. They can be in the hundreds. Um, but this, these guys are, are perfectly good. I think they are a good value for your dollar. If you're collecting Kaiju, then the Haya Toys ones are are definitely a, a worthy competitor to the SH Monster Arts. I know some people love those, some people hate those, and that's up to you to decide for yourself. But as this figure goes, it's uh, worth the money. A lot of plastic here. A whole lot of plastic. Decent articulation for what it is. Decent enough look for what it is. And as far as the updated version goes, well, I don't know. Balancing this guy is a bit tricky. I'd never like balancing this modern Godzilla. 
is it ends up making him lean too far back, I think. It looks to me like he's standing too upright, but maybe not. I guess that's okay. We could do that. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good looking figure. If I was into Kaiju, I, I mean, I'll probably just keep this one, honestly, unless somebody, I like one of my viewers buys a lot of these from me just because he collects them and I get them a little bit early. But I like this one. I would keep it if I was into Kaijus for sure, and I might anyway. I like it. Now you know what it is, more than you did before, hopefully. But uh, that's all I've got for you. I wish they gave me some info, but they didn't. So I don't know. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.